Good morning. Let's see here. That is weird. It gave me a little pop-up saying not to multitask. I don't multitask when I'm doing this. Whatever. <laughs> so, welcome to your early morning intuitive guidance. I'm Dr. Bonnie Nussbaum, America's kick-ass coach and psychologist, here with some words of wisdom for our day. And boy, is it cold out. I am now at long sleeves and long underwear and mittens instead of gloves. And yeah, it was brisk out there. Beautiful, but brisk. <laughs> Good morning. Let's see, Betty's here. Welcome, Betty. Glad you are here. You're the first one to pop on today. Nice to see you. Um, and our card comes from, good morning, Cheryl. Welcome, the Denise Lynn Deck Native Spirit. And our card for today, th I think this is one of the prettiest cards in the whole deck. I love this card. Ancient Forest. It's, it's hard to get an appreciation because of the, the reflection from the card, but I just think it's such a pretty card. Ancient Forest. So my guess is you kind of took a little breath even just looking at the picture because it's such a calming, soothing picture and concept. So let's jump into Ancient, ancient Forest. So if you just want to take a couple of nice deep breaths. <sighs> Letting your shoulders drop. Moving into a place of appreciation. Just enjoying this moment, this little interlude we get to have every day. How nice that is. So here's the words for today. Ancient Forest. Good morning, Carolyn. I'll show you quickly our card. Ancient Forest. And let's see what it has. Yes, it does look like Oregon. Very much looks like Oregon. Yeah. <clears throat> card meaning, your roots go deep. Incredible, radiant, healing strength is available to you and grows within you. Pretty cool, huh? Do not do not doubt your abilities. And I think a lot of us kind of ebb and flow through that where we're feeling like, yeah, I got this. And other times we're going, what was I thinking? So this is to give us a lift if we're in the what was I thinking mode. Do not doubt your abilities. You're so much more than you can possibly imagine. There's immense, unseen, but very real support around you. You are loved and cherished. You are grounded, stable, and strong as your spirit reaches high into the heavens. That's one of the things that I turned into a walking mantra. I am safe and I am loved. I am safe and I am loved. Over and over and over as I'm walking. And the rhythm of walking makes the mantras really easy to adopt, use, and remember. So just something to throw out there in case it, it moves you to try it. Your native spirit wants you to know, throughout the world, those in indigenous cultures revere what are called the tree people. The powerful life force of trees can bring healing, strengthening, and grounding energies, all of which are useful. Healing, strengthening, grounding. The kind of tree might vary from culture to culture, but the reverence and gratitude for its beneficial energies are the same. The ancient forest is alive with nature's spirits. Additionally, each tree has an individual spirit, especially powerful and resi resilient. It's actually getting harder and harder to find ancient forests. Most of them were clear cut in the 30s and 40s, etc. So we have old forests, but we, it's, we have to work a little bit to get to an ancient forest. Every once in a while, you find a very ancient tree. I mean, these humongous trees in yards, etc. But to find a whole forest full of really, really old trees, that might take a little effort on our part. Well worth the effort. Well worth the effort. <clears throat> the forest can survive the harshest conditions because of the mutual support of the spirit of the entire forest. Think about that with regard to human beings. Human beings survive a whole lot better with the mutual support of each other than trying to wing it or go it alone. We tend not to honor that well enough. Your greatest strength is silent and deep. It doesn't need a show of force. It just is. Inner power is found through contemplation, reflection, and meditation. That's actually what I'm choosing to spend my morning on. I have a ton of work to do, and I'm not going to do it. I'm going to spend time in contemplation, reflection, and meditation. Sometimes it comes from times of growth and change. Other times it springs from surviving and conquering painful situations. The journey. Adopt a tree. 
It can be one in your yard or one in a nearby park or wilderness area. Talk to the tree. Touch its bark. Give thanks. And by doing so, you create an energy connection that will continue to nurture you, no matter how far away you are from your adopted tree. So I have an elm tree that I love that is... Um, it was on my way to my friend Nancy's house. She's since passed, but <clears throat> and she didn't live in that house for many, many years, but I remember that elm tree. It was farm fields, and it's right out toward the edge of the road, but you know how every once in a while they leave a tree in a farm field, and this was one of those trees, and I'd wave to it as I went past. Good morning, Brenda. Welcome, welcome. I love that tree. So what about for you? Where is your favorite tree? Do you have a favorite tree? If you don't, maybe start discerning a little bit. Well, do I like the hardwoods? Do I like the pines? What do I like? Am I a conifer girl? Or, you know, what's my gig? Spend a little time with the trees. See, maybe you like the little ornamental trees, the, the lace leaf maples or something like that. What's a tree that really speaks to you? I like maples. I like oaks. I like elms. I'm, I'm a hardwood kind of person, I think. Um, but just tune into that tree. Watch some of the videos. If you go on YouTube and put in tree, tree videos, you can see amazing things. How they all move in unison. How the earth can heave and they still hang on. I mean, there's all kinds of cool tree videos out there that kind of get you thinking about them in a different way other than just driving past them without even <clears throat> realizing they're there or their nature. They're very, very powerful beings. So here's the picture again, ancient forest. So what I'd like you to do today is I'd like you to contemplate a tree. If you actually go for a walk, touch a tree, feel what it feels like. Notice the difference between the bark on various trees. Some have very thick bark that, you know, it has a lot of ridges in it. Some have very smooth bark. It's just cool even noticing the difference in that. Ah, willow tree, yes. Love willow trees. And if you don't cut them off so that they don't beat you up when you're mowing, it's kind of like a little tent in there you can hide. We used to we used to swing on my grandmother's willow trees, grab a whole bunch and just kind of swing. And actually the swing itself was hanging from the willow tree at the farm, and that was pretty cool too. Think about that. What trees do you like and why? So... That is your mission for today, contemplating the trees. Have an awesome Sunday. We'll see you again tomorrow. And remember, you're capable of far more than you think you are. Bye-bye.